Hello guys, my name is Carlton. Uh, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to uh, draw grid lines on your AutoCAD drawing uh, using a SWDT, which is a, the fastest way that I know right now, a, according to my own opinion. So without further ado, Drew, this is our uh, mind plan that you want to do to go to put a grid on so as you can see this is our area of interest so what you do uh you open your autocad first then you minimize it then you open your sw dtm if you don't have sw dtm you can go to your browser then go to sw then search sw dtm is it's less than one megabyte uh the extension so you go to sw dtm you can even add an extension of saying free download then you click there then you open it i want to, as you can see it's 673 678 sorry uh, uh kilobytes then you say download it won't even take you uh, five minutes to do this as long as you have a strong network should be done then here it says uh, downloading it then i'll just say open when it's done it's already done as you can see i'm now done then you close then you unzip it and so forth so i had already installed mine so i'll just open mine my SWDTM. then let me open my auto that again let me uh, put it side on side like this So, after opening your SWGTM, you have something like this. So, you then go to draw, then you go to draw grid. Uh, you can draw a grid without uh, with grid lines or draw a grid without grid lines. I like the one with the grid lines. Then you enter the intervals that you want. So, I'm here I'm going to use a 20 meter interval then I say okay then take side it's up to you whether one or you can actually change it afterwards if you it doesn't suit what you want so I'm going to use, say two here then okay then it will tell you select the first for the first point which is the bottom left so you go to the bottom left then you right you left click sorry then you go to second point which is top right corner then you select what I've done then there you go you have a good line so this one 1 in 20 is too much so I can always go back draw draw then you go to good line then I say erase all then I say go again draw again then maybe I use, I'll use uh, 1 in 100 I'll use sorry an interval of 100 Again, text height for of two. Okay, then I select the first bottom corner, uh, left corner, then the right corner. There you go. That's the grid. If you want to change it, you can change it. If you if you see how I change it, then you open here. Now, the grid lines they will pop up in the layer folder. You can actually open the layer folder, layer properties. Sorry open the layer properties when you open the layer properties you now, you now can change uh whether you want to change the color of the grid and everything let's say i want to change the coordinates color from this one to a blue one and just go to a cn1 let's change grid lines you can change it i want to go to cn again then okay uh, it is a dotted line. I want it to be continuous or oh, use the default one. It's okay. Continuous. Okay. Then you save. You can also delete these ones if you don't want the grid in, in the middle. You don't want the annotation of grid in the middle. You can delete. So that's how you control using SWTT. Sorry, that's how you do read lines using SWTTM. I uh, hope you enjoyed guys. Thanks for watching.
on and make sure to like and subscribe so that you can make other videos like this it doesn't matter if you are using auto autocad 2017 or even 2007 any autocad